Opera First programme is fantastic because it gets children in who might never be exposed to opera. You might find a budding singer that never knew that they could do something, wants to try it out, wants to be in the youth programme and it just makes the community come together and it, it means that Garsington is reaching a broader audience too. Welcome to Garsington Opera. Really enjoy the opportunity tonight to see this performance. Lots of you have been working on the story, lots of you will recognise music from within it. Have a great night and you're so welcome here at Garsington Opera. Um, I think opera's pretty cool. I mean, I didn't really know what it was. I thought it was all like ladies in Viking hats singing in Latin, but it turns out it's not. So. What a great opera to do to a, a school's audience. But the fact that they're getting an, a whole audience of, of children all together, it means that they're kind of all in it together and we're in it with them as well. I love the singing. It was just... So it just—it was really good. Papa Gaynor could be yeah. a shotgun. Yeah, he was my favourite because he like—he just like had like, and I explain it. He had like a lot of emotions and like it was very interesting. I understand how important it is at grassroots level at a, at a young age just to be inspired by something different, just to be influenced. As long as the, some, they go away with something, they go away with some kind of new feeling. And I think it's, it's, it's vital, really. I didn't know what to expect, but when I got in there and started watching it, it, it was really good. I was enjoying it. You could really feel the emotion like, from it. So I don't know how to explain it, but like, when they sang, you could really feel like, how they were feeling. I think um, I'd want to go to another opera, yeah. Yeah, I would. I think it was actually pretty good. So I kind of thought it was like, alright, 